Hey guys, um, today just going to have a little update for my American War of Independence. As you can see, this is my British artillery piece. This is a six pounder. Um, the gun isn't glued on, so I can use different guns and it's like uh, howitzers and three pounders, so I can replace them. Um, on the, you can see that I've put these two guys separately so I can um, show when the gun is being loaded and when it's not. Also it means I can remove these as casualties if needed. Um, let's get a close off these guys. So there's these chaps. So quite a simple uniform with these guys, so wearing roundabout um, shortcut coats um, due to um, uh, operating in the southern theatre they found that they um, by cutting down their coats they were less, less likely to get caught on um, branches and what have you, so they were just more practical which is also why they have round hats as opposed to the cocked hat because um, it's so hot they um, let the hats down to cover their faces um, let's have a look here let's say this is a six pounder which is like a medium piece um, battalion guns were usually three pounders which is slightly smaller than this one. Um, this guy here is a Royal Artillery Officer. All these miniatures are from Perry. Uh, Perry miniatures, that is. You can tell he's an officer by his sash there. So this guy came with the um, Queen's Rangers Artillery set, which I will paint up at a later date. So that's all for them. Um, here, this is the officer for my British Light Infantry, which I put a video up a while ago. Uh, this guy is actually from the command set for the British Infantry that Perry's do. Also, Oh, these aren't finished yet, but this is about half the regiment of my light infantry. Um, the face are a yellow, as these will be in the, um, the these guys are going to be the 16th regiment of foot. Uh, well, light light infantry. Uh, light infantry tended to wear the red waistcoat instead of the white one so, let's see if we can get these in focus here yeah. uh, but yeah, these are Perry plastics Focusing issues here. There we go. Okay, so like I said, these are peri plastics. Um, I've put them at the trail, uh, which is the stance, so you can tell they're light infantry. Uh, the guy on the left here is obviously a black fella. Um, many um, black men and um, found that they wanted to join the um, both armies as uh, later on in the war um, both sides began to basically sell the slaves their freedom by service in the army um, the British I believe started it first um, while the Americans particularly George Washington didn't really want Blacks fighting in his regiments. He, he, um, he was very much a man of his time. I mean, 
Washington owned slaves, as did most um, American aristocrats at the time, so... Yeah, I thought I'd represent um, by painting this guy black. Um, also, it makes a nice contrast as far as, you know, skin tone goes. So that's them, the light infantry. today. Um, please subscribe if you like what you see and um, feel free to leave comments um, for uh, giving me advice on my next videos and what have you. I think my next video will probably be either Lone Rampant or some epic, so I have some epic 40k on the way. So yeah, if you like what you see please subscribe and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.